Hello, my name is Simon Bingham, and this is part of my video series on uh, JNCIE video series for the Enterprise. Drac, I've been looking at BGP path selection. So uh, this is um, number four of these little videos on path selection. Um, we're now down to AS path. So if we look on the Juniper website, it says for BGP, prefer the path with the shortest autonomous system, um, short autonomous system path. So this really is the main attribute that uh, BGP will use most of the time to determine how to get from one place to another. Um, if you're on one side of the world, you've got a greater number of AS system um, hops. Um, it will you'll be less preferred than uh, another route which has less AS system hops. So if we if we look up just quickly look at my network here as the proof point. Okay, so I've got all these pretty much most of these routes you can see here running. And what I've done is we've got a loop back here. So we're going to focus on, and we've got a loop back here which is introduced into into BGP. So if we have a look on R10 quickly and we just have a look at what we've got advertised to us here. Now I'm seeing this come from lots of different directions, right? So this is on R10, the one at the top right. And we're seeing this is this is the route from the top left the bottom left. So we can see here I'm seeing it coming in um, actually what it's doing here is it's seeing it come in from router uh, from 11, 13 and 12. So what it's actually doing here is this route is being advertised up here and through this path, okay, to R R10. It's also being advertised via this separate path here, and then if we look at R10, um, basically like that, it's coming that way, and then it's also coming via this path here. So all those have an equal number of AS hops, um, and then what it's doing is picking one of the paths, and if we look at uh, detail, it'll tell us why. Um, do, 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 selected uh, probably I think it's probably choosing it on IGP metric um, old oh, router ID okay so it's seeing I think the metric is probably the same coming from here and it's the same coming from here um, so it's going to choose the one with the lowest router ID and there we go but that's not the um, that's not the object of this exercise. So actually it's saying that these two are tied, just while we're here. 11 and 13 are tied. Ah, that is what I thought, okay. So it's seeing it come in from here, and it's seeing it come in from here. And in this case, they've got the same metric. So it's it, the next decider is route variety, but oh, let's not, I'm not gonna dwell on that because this isn't the part of this exercise. So look at AS path. So, Let's say we want to influence this so that it no longer comes via this path. Um, it chooses this path as the preferred because that's what it's doing at the moment. If we look, the preferred is, if we look, the preferred here is from 11 basically with the next hop of 31.1. 31.1 is this address here. Just choosing this path. So what can we do let's say let's say we've got an exam and the question is you need to influence the path selection but only using the AS path you can't use any of the other the other attributes so what we could do is use the command called AS prepend which is where we in effect sandwich in an extra AS number into this path so let's have a go at that let me let me do that so let's jump on to R27 and um, R27. I'm getting mad here. And let's um, let's put in an import policy to to um, influence. Say this neighbour here, the route, this route that comes in will add will add an extra AS number to it. Um, so if we call it uh, set import um, AS ten into R. Now, the reason I do R in this case rather than AS number is because I'm kind of trying to drill home the fact that an import policy really is into your local routing ta table. Now, if BGP takes that again out of your routing table, that's a different thing. But, you know, this is then BG, that's what BGP will do. BGP will go, oh, I've got this BGP route in my routing table and I'll take it back out again. But BGP is not like OSPF where you're really moving something from one. Um, routing system to another it really goes in and out the routing table so um, I'm gonna define it like this so, uh, so show so now it's saying we haven't got this defined so let's go and define this 
Let's go top, edit, product protocols, oh sorry. Edit policy, policy statement. Set term one from protocol. We should probably have to do that actually. Let's do from. Actually, I will do just for to be to be to be complete from protocol BGP from neighbor. So what I'm really saying is routes that are coming in that route that comes in from R10. I want to pick on it. And we're going to change the um, change the AS number. So I'll do a couple of criteria. Try and be precise. Um, obviously, in the real world, it's important to be as precise as you can with these things because you certainly don't want to accidentally influence anything else. And the best way of doing that is um, Set term one, then AS, but prepend. I don't know, let's just choose one, two, three in this case. We'll add one, two, three into it, okay. Um, and let's commit it and see what happens. Okay. Let's look onto R10 and see what we've got showing up there now. Interesting if now we've got only only got three two routes showing up and not three. So why do you think this is? Why are we not seeing the other the other path? Look, we're not seeing the prepended AS um, in here. Well, the reason for that is probably that if we look on R11. This is seeing the route come from three directions. Okay, so we go down to the bottom right hand one here. This is learning the route from here, from here, and from here. But in the case of of this one, look, we've got our extra AS number added in, right? So we're seeing our um, extra AS number, um, but it's not the best path on this on this particular router. The best path actually comes via IBGP from one of the other routers and if we look at the uh, it's coming from router 12 and router 13 so what does that mean for what we re-advertise well, what it actually means is that um, if you remember the, blip, the BGP split horizon rules um, we don't actually um, if we don't re-advertise something that we've learned from our IBGP peer so if we have a look at this and we look at what we're advertising to to router 10 um, yeah, you can see here that 100.0.0.26 is not actually there, and that's because because basically the best path comes from another IBGP peer, and that's not something that we're going to to re-advertise up to R10. So if you look here, we can see it's um, seen it coming in via R1. Um, you can see where we're learning it from. Um, we're not in fact learning it from that link and um, everything's working correctly so you can see here that that's the one that we're learning from route 13 and um, um, you can see here that we're actually look, we're actually going by a different path to what we were before it's now it says 30 10 i and so basically by adding by adding that extra AS number in here, we've in effect made this, so this one won't advertise it up here. And then if we look at this, um, we're learning it from two two directions here. So we're learning it from this direction, 
oops, and we're learning it from this direction up here, and it's got to choose one of these paths. And in fact, they've got equal AS hops, they've got equal metrics. Um, let's do this. So why is it choosing one or the other? Oh, no, it's actually choosing one based on the IGP metric. So one of them, obviously, this this route here, it's learned it via that, and that's tied in terms of AS hops with that one, but it's got an easier, um, a better IGP metric there. So. That's it really, I'll prove that we can influence the, um, the AS path and um, that's it really. So by adding that back in we've, um, we've in effect knocked that out. Okay, thank you, goodbye.